What do you mean? I'm referring to the reason our memories still exist, even after our delusions are nullified. A phenomenon of which Asahi stands as living proof. I do? You dreamed up the repeating day, did you not? Yet you haven't lost a single memory, despite the fact that your delusion was very definitely shattered. That's because you were and are still a deluser. Because there's another delusion now. I knew you were a smart one. Yes, another delusion was born. Just before the delusion of the repeating day was nullified, the delusion of the never-ending day came into existence. When one delusion was taken down, another was waiting in the wings. So what you're saying is... We're all... There is no limit to the number of delusions one can be a part of. That is what's happening here. The infinite potential of delusions. So I have other delusions in me too? <sighs> I can't decide how you should all deal with this. Will you face your other delusions? Or will you avert your eyes? Will you live in a world of changing daily events? Or in an endless world where nothing changes? We don't have the time to weigh our options like that. Ah, but you must. At times like this in particular, it is imperative that you make the time to worry. But... Oh, it's getting late, isn't it? So, if only for a night, or whatever the equivalent is now, I'd suggest you worry well. What do we want to do? That's the spirit. Worry now while you're young. It gets much harder with age, if only for the wrinkles. Hey. Well, if it isn't Asahi, what's up? Checking out the nightlife? Uh, no, not exactly. How about you, Reiji? Are you on your way home or something? Does it look like I'm going home? Not particularly. Let me ask you something. What does this delusion look like to you? Hmm, I'm not exactly sure. Some kind of digital something or other? Well, yeah, that's pretty much accurate, I guess. Even I couldn't figure it out at first. But when my delusion formed, the stores around here started doing really well. What do you mean? I realized it once my delusion was destroyed. I was living in a digital world. How did you pull that off? I saw everything in zeros and ones. It makes sense that the delusion I spawned made the whole world that way. That is very... you. It's cynical is what it is. If this digitization spreads, it'll make everything binary. But, if we destroy the delusion of the eternal day, all the other delusions will go with it. Nothing left at all. Just zeros. No ones. And in the end, we humans are the ones responsible for making that final call. The answer I've been seeking is right at hand, and yet... I... I... You're afraid of what'll happen when you reach that answer, aren't you? Yeah. That's exactly it. The answer I wanted wasn't a zero or a one, it was something more ambiguous. So I've been turning my eyes away from the answer right under my nose. <laughs> Not like me, is it? But that is the real you, isn't it? I don't want to admit it if it is. That's a bad habit a lot of adults have, isn't it? Seeking out an answer only when that answer is convenient, I mean. <laughs> it may well be. Personally, I wouldn't say I'm particularly smart. And I used to absolutely hate tests when I was little. But no matter how poorly I did on them, I never worried about it. And why's that? Well, because whether I got a zero or a one, I still failed, right? Uh, 
I wouldn't say you're particularly smart either. Well, I am a neat after all. How smart can I be? But you're the real idiot here. Am I now? You need to just find your answer, no matter what it might be. You're a kid who never quite learned how to grow up, aren't you? Guilty as charged. I couldn't have put it better. I've grown up in years, but not in my heart. I'm still just a snot-nosed little brat. And there you have it. A perfect zero-point answer. Take pride in it and face the truth. <laughs> Your stupidity may have just saved me, kid. Guess I never had to worry about the answer in the first place. What's up, Mippity? I see you're still stuck in Akihabara, too. Wait, don't tell me you can't get home. My place is just next to Akiba, which means it's just barely included in the bubble. So I'm okay, I think. Though I guess that's not really that okay, is it? Yeah, that seems pretty not okay to me. But for the moment, I am okay, I think. Or part of me is, anyway. Is that why you're here? To kind of make yourself more okay? This is where it all started for me. I had so many people cheering me on, even if it was just a delusion. And once that delusion ended, I had to go back to being an ordinary girl. Nobody's cheering for me anymore. Not in real life. And when I think about that, I get really scared. Do you want someone to cheer for you then? Huh? Or do you want to be the one cheering? Ugh. I remember what you said on the stage. Every word. Ryu Momose, age 14, signing on. I like collecting pink accessories, and I hate bugs. And what's your dream for the future? To become a top idol. And what do you want from the people living here? To make them smile, and to cheer them on. See? <laughs> You're right. I need to start cheering for these people. And I'll cheer for you while you do. Huh? Even if anything and everything turns out to be a delusion, even if I forget all about the events of this day, I'll cheer for you, Mippity. <laughs> Thank you very much. But why is it that even though your words make me so happy, my heart hurts so much? Are you all right? It's just such a wonderful feeling to have people cheering for you. I want everyone to know what that feels like. So I'm going to become a top idol and cheer for every single person living in Akihabara no matter what. And I'm going to make them all smile. That's the way, and I know you can make that happen, Mippity. In fact, I can even guarantee it. <laughs> I got a guarantee from a neat. It's just as good as any. But thank you very much. You've made me feel a lot better. Looks like you've got your answer. I'm going to cheer for the world. So Asahi, I want you to cheer for me. <laughs> What's a geek like you doing in a place like this? Tachibana? What the hell? Don't sneak up on me like that. I wasn't sneaking. Why so jumpy? Wait, you weren't just thinking lewd thoughts or anything, were you? Psh, no. If you say so. I was just thinking, this all feels so video gamey, right? You see it all the time. The night before the final battle, one of the heroes goes off by himself and gets lost in thought for a while. Leave me alone. All right, whatever you say. We'll just assume that your lewd thoughts weren't directed at anyone I know. This really is like something out of a game, though, isn't it? Yeah, nullifying delusions and chasing down mysteries. 
there's even a mysterious evil organization. And we've acquired weird-ass special powers that we use in battle. Yeah, it's ex... 